Okay, so as we continue, this is assembling an Epson L210. This time I'm going to show you how to remove or replace the printer valve. So we start uh, by removing this scanner. There must be a screw here, and this one. So we open it and we remove the cover. I don't have to explain further on how to open the printer because I have done it in a part one. If you wanted to see the step by step process, then you may scroll down below for the part one of how to open this Epson L210, L220, and L360. L210, L220, and L360 have the same parts, the same clips, and the same screws. So I am tagging in my videos that L210 and L220 slash L360 because what we are doing, what we are doing in L210 is what we are going to do when opening or disassembling for L220 and L360. We remove the screws right here. Then, when you watch the part one, how to open this cover. We just look for my video. Okay, so after we remove the cover, so next is to remove the this metal. So we start by unscrewing this, this hole here, here, and the screw here, and the one right here in the side. And by using a small screwdriver, the, we remove this spring head motor. So we start. Next is to remove the red head cable. It has a lock here. You only have to push uh, going to you. And then slide a little to, to the right. And here we go. And then lift the metal to separate to the chassis. Okay, so this is the printer head. Be careful not to touch this head because it might trouble your printout, it might blur or the worst case it might it will be defective if you will touch or scratch it somewhere. So you must be careful in handling this carriage, especially when the printer head is still in touch. So our tar target here is the printer dog. So as you can see, this is the printer dog. And how to remove is to simply adjust or just to simply pull it out from the clips. As you can see, the dog it has a groove. So is the clip for the dog. It, it has a groove too, and it is securely in touch uh, in uh, the grooves 
So if you have, or in case the printer box is defective, then you can re replace it. Uh, if you have a new printer belt, printer belt, then you can install it. The same how we remove the old one. So it must be securely clipped in the printer belt. Clipped and the grip must be fit. As you can see, the, there is a sensor here. This is the sensor for the uh, sensor strip. This is where it, that the sens sensor strip must be installed on. Okay. So after which we are done uh, replacing the belt. After we install the new belt, then we return the carriage.
So that's it. How we disassemble is the same process when you return the parts. And if you have questions, then just comment below. I entertain them and I am available. And please don't forget to message me in our Facebook page. I really appreciate it when you direct message me on Facebook, facebook.com slash techisimwano for your online consultation, questions, and advices in handling your printers or computers. So that's it for today and thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe for to get updated in my next video.